Okay, so we were saying something you have that a lot of people don't have. What yep. is it? <laughs> that E bell. So we just flip this switch right here. Oh man, I love Sounds it. Sounds like we're going through a crossing. I was going to say, family tradition. Yep. What, what does family tradition mean to you, Pat? Family tradition for me is I'm the fourth generation on my mom's side of the family to drive truck. My mother's side of the family is Chuck Brower Trucking. Um, and on my dad's side of the family, I'm the third generation. So you're a fourth and third? Fourth and third. So let's just call it seven. Yeah. <laughs> seven generations back. I add it all up, yeah. And so to you, that's family tradition? Yep. The whole truck is dedicated to my grandpa Brower because if it wasn't for him starting this company, I wouldn't have any of this. Uh, it's a 20 inch 12 gauge bumper. Yeah. It has a lift kit on it, so that's nice. Flip a switch when you're in the snow, come up to a snow bank, lift that bumper up. You got plenty of clearance. Nice. Um, I just kept the front end stock. Uh, I'm a big fan of the stock look, just really clean and shiny. Um, we have 12 gauge air cleaner light bars. Most are five lights on the front. I wanted to do six just to be a little bit different. We have 12 gauge visor. That's the Mighty Wicked. It's 11 to 7, Mighty Wicked. We added the two extra cab lights on the top just for a nice clean look. Uh, we went with flush air cleaner lights on the back side. Everything I did on this truck, I tried to do it nice and smooth so it was easy to wash. I hate washing around <laughs> lights. I've had to do it my whole life and I just wanted this one to be smooth. Up underneath, I did hidden brackets with penny lights. You might be able to get the reflection like I see it. Yep. I see it. So that gives it a nice look because they're not on the bottom of the panel, so you wouldn't even know that they were there. That's clean. So buddy. then people don't even realize I have as many lights as I do because they're all hidden. Um, the whole entire glider was actually built by 12 gauge. They put the engine and the transmission together. They did put the deck plate and the airline box on for me. That's actually not even the airline box that I thought I was going to get, but I really like it. I, it turned out really well. What, what was your face expression when it wasn't the one? Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> get the double chin in yeah, there. Yeah, you're like, you're like, wait a minute, I just spent how many thousands of dollars? Yeah, exactly, but it turned out exactly. It grew on you. Yeah, it did. It, I never disliked it for a minute. Um, I put the window trim ring around the back, and that just comes with double-sided tape. It wasn't sticking, so I ended up putting screws in there. My dad's side of the family used to run GMC Cobra Jets. They built jet boats back in the 80s. And that's leftover stainless steel screw stock from their boat company in the 80s. How cool so is that? That's, it's all family It here. ties in the family tradition just a little bit more, something that small. I was gonna say, family tradition. Yep. What, what does family tradition mean to you, Bill? Family tradition for me is I'm the fourth generation on my mom's side of the family to drive truck. My mother's side of the family is Chuck Brower Trucking. Um, and on my dad's side of the family, I'm the third generation. So you're a fourth and third? Fourth and third. So let's just call it seven. Yeah. <laughs> seven generations back. I add it all up, yeah. And so to you, that's family tradition? Yep. The whole truck is dedicated to my grandpa Brower because if it wasn't for him starting this company, I wouldn't have any of this. Uh, Hoga built uh, ultra low rider half fenders that are blind mounted. Who made you do that? Matt? Did, did Matt go up to you and, 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 and strangling you and made you buy this? No, no. I, I kind of, I just seen pictures of how they looked and I really liked the smooth, clean look. Yeah. I don't even know if you were, uh, you know, uh, deal with Matt, but Matt's like the sweetest dude ever. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, they're all great. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. No, that's great, brother. I just added the t cane hub covers on the rear. Yeah, let's That's good. a really nice touch that I like. That, again, easy to wash. That's what I'm all about. Easy to wash. Sometimes you got to keep it simple. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. That's great, brother. Uh, Iowa Customs light bar. That's a relatively common light bar a lot of people use. So what I did to change it up a little bit is I put these three lights in the middle. And uh, so they're just regular red clearance lights. But when I put it in reverse, they change to white. Oh, that's dope. So got the dual revolution going on. That's cool. That's cool, man. Yep. I dig it, I dig it. You know, when we're looking at this truck, is there anything one of one on this truck that no one else has? 
that you got on this truck? Uh, probably those lights I just pointed out. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Man. Yeah, I have a an E bell, it's electric train bell that I put on there, so it kind of goes along with the train horn. Wait, up, what the hell is that? <laughs> it's does anyone have that? I don't know. I'm sure somebody does. You just haven't seen it yet. <laughs> no. Well, I think I saw one video of somebody else, but. I haven't seen anybody else here really? that has it. I guess we're gonna have to try that. We're gonna right. can we uh, uh, pop the pop the hood? Absolutely. Check out. I uh, know we see cat. Is that just a sticker? Is there a Cummins in here? Yeah. Oh no, no, that's a yellow <laughs> engine. That, nothing but yellow. Okay, so okay, tell me this much now. Uh, uh, what's up with y'all? That either you like yellow or red. What's going on with that man? Well, it just depends on how far I want to get up the hill before I downshift. Oh, bird. <laughs> uh, Man, you're talking your shit today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's great, brother. So let's walk over here and see what we're looking at. All right. It's a 3406 2WS. Um, it's a Cat Factory Reman I went with. Uh, it's pushing about around 700 horse or so. Um, I just got the charge air cooler pipes polished. They were just a milled finish. So that, I was pretty excited about that. I've never had a truck with polished charge air pipes. Um, yeah, it's got the air ride front end on it. That's really nice, the Pete Factory air ride. I've never driven a truck that drives nicer than with the Pete Factory air ride. It does have the five inch car hauler drop axle. Yeah. Just to get it down a little lower. It's beautiful. You talked a lot about family traditions and you brought up grandpa a little bit. Yep. And so, <laughs> you know, I see this right here. Uh huh. What does this mean to you? So this means that our bread and butter is we haul milk for Prairie Farms Dairy. Uh, when we started, it was Muller Pinehurst Dairy. Prairie Farms just recently bought them out. So my grandpa's mother started at that dairy in the office in 1951, and uh, in 1976 they came to her and they needed a trucking company to haul their products. My grandfather was just starting his company, and she said, well, my son will do it. So we've been hauling dairy products since our beginning, and we've also hauled Kent Feeds livestock feeds since we started. So we've had the same two accounts since we began. Wow, you know, and looking at this right here, when we talk about bringing milk to America, <laughs> if you're drinking milk, uh -huh. if it's coming from your company, uh -huh. What parts of America are you the one bringing it to? Uh, anything in the Midwest, uh, Northern Illinois especially, Southern Wisconsin, um, anything that's Prairie Farms has probably touched our, the plant code is 17284. Anything that has 17284 plant code most likely touched our truck at some point. I love that, brother. Yep. So do you guys love your milk? Oh, yeah, especially the chocolate. Then think a driver. Yeah. I actually think this man's family. Yeah, well, and, and the other thing is cool about that dairy is, is I have an uncle that's partial owner in a dairy farm. Their milk goes to that dairy. They also haul the milk off of farms in the area to that dairy. I have a cousin that works inside that dairy, and then we haul it out of that dairy. Oh, so, man. You guys are dairied up. Family tradition. Hey, I love it. I love it. All right. Good stuff, brother. You know, actually, I'm feeling good right here hanging out. Sure. That's what we're doing. All right. So, you know, we talk about seven generations. Four and three. Four and three. We talk about milk. How it's to get to America, around to all these grocery stores. It's a family like yourself that make it happen for America. You yes, know. Sir. And so, from that, we talked about Grandpa a little bit as well. Yep. And um, so... When did your trucking journey actually start? Oh, right away. As soon as I, as soon as I, it started on the armrest of his recliner. So when he was 55 years old, he suffered from a stroke and he was no longer able to drive. So I actually never saw him be able to drive a truck. But when I was little, I'd go to their house. I just sat on the armrest right here of his lazy boy. And he, we would just talk trucks ever since I could talk. And I've been hooked ever since. So. How many years you've been driving now? Let's see, uh, nine. I got my license when I was 18, and uh, I'm 27 now. So, But I did get my permit when I was 17. So I guess you could say 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. Wow. That's, that's great, man. Yep. And I'm about to add a, another generation right here. I've got right here um, 
the ultrasound of my baby girl that's coming in December. So we're about to add a generation. Mother truckers, comment <laughs> down below. Wish this man uh, family health and you know protection and happiness. And Thank uh, you. you know that's that's great, brother. And so you know when you talk about these stories that your grandpa would tell you, is there a story that comes to mind that you remember to this day? Yeah. <laughs> He always told me how you could blow smoke on a mechanical cat engine. He said, go ahead and shift, wait just a minute, and then lay into it, and you'll have two tornadoes coming out the stacks. Is that right? <laughs> yep, that was one of them. And uh, uh, there was many more. I'm just kind of blanking at the moment. But no, I hear you. That was one of my, that kind of sticks out, as just to be short. And since we're here in Hampshire, um, there is another kind of a story but there's a vacant truck stop up there it used to be called the arrowhead and uh, we have nine trucks he had 13 back then they used to run milk in and out of chicago and whether you drank coffee or not if three or four of you were running together you stopped at the arrowhead truck stop and you had coffee and you got something to eat no matter what time of day it was so it was really cool to hear how trucking used to be because in today's world we don't seem to have as much time for things like that and it's it's a bummer no, that's no, that's that's great, man. I appreciate that story. You know, you said Grandpa, you know, had a stroke, but I, I hate to ask, but is Grandpa still around? Or? No, he uh, he actually passed when I was in third grade, and he just left that much of an imprint on my life. That's that's so beautiful, man. You know, Grandpa looking down now. Uh, if you were to look at you, brother, what would he Ooh. say? Well, he could hardly. They they said. You know, he couldn't hardly, when they, my mom was growing up and her sisters, they said he could hardly drive down the road without looking at all the trucks going by. So I had a lot of my family here last night, and they just said if he was here, he'd just be going crazy. He proud. just loved trucks, and he'd be so proud. And all these other beautiful trucks, he'd just be drooling over. I love that, man. I think he'd definitely be proud of you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, you know I strive I mean? to hear things like that. I mean it, brother. <laughs> Thank I mean you. It. You know, I know overall, you know, I appreciate you for the interview. Yeah. I thank you, man. It's like, it's thank an honor. You. Yeah. You know, you're a young man making it happen, keeping America going and keeping this generation of trucking alive. Yeah, try to do what we can. I love it, brother. Thanks. Thank you. Yes, sir. Let's see.